Hey, boat friends, I hope you are doing well. This is a special event video. I'm doing it in 4K to make sure we have the best quality. As you can see, I'm right here on the mountainside next to the Golden Gate Bridge. We are going to be watching an awesome ocean going cargo ship that is coming inbound from the Pacific Ocean. She's going to be heading under the Golden Gate Bridge. We are going to follow her all the way through, right by us right here, going into the San Francisco Bay. And there's also a pilot boat that's right behind it. So let's check out some details about this ship that's coming in that we're going to be watching. She's called the Apex Voyager. And as you can see right there, she is going to be going under the Golden Gate Bridge. She's doing eight. 8 knots right now and then right behind it you have the PV San Francisco show you what that looks like so that's a pilot boat doing 7.7 .7 knots directly behind the large vessel Apex Voyager let me show you what she looks like she is Coming from San Francisco, this is a ship that is out of Panama, as you can see, length, 179 meters long, 30 meters wide, built in 2019. Really good looking color scheme. She's moving pretty good. Let me, uh, let me set this gimbal down over here so we can watch her with a very stabilized view as she goes by. I'll give you some facts as, as we watch together. So she is coming in from the Pacific Ocean. And uh, we should be seeing that pilot boat right behind here momentarily. She's still traveling at uh, just under nine knots. Good looking vessel though. Let me give you some additional information on her as well. As I mentioned, built in 2019. She's sailing out of Panama. She was recently in China before San Francisco. Cargo is still unknown. I tried to do a little digging. I couldn't find too much information about what the actual cargo is. But again, this is the Apex Voyager. She's going to get a lot closer to us. Give you a quick look at what's going on over here in San Francisco. Give you a better idea of where I'm at. So there's a lot of people take pictures in this area. You have Alcatraz right there, famous former federal prison, which now is a big time tourist destination. Golden Gate Bridge, that's self-explanatory, beautiful looking bridge, 1.7 miles in length. And that is downtown San Francisco skyline, tallest building that you can see right there, that's Salesforce Tower, 1,070 feet tall, 61 stories. And then just there to the left, sometimes people confuse that if you see pictures. It, some people will think that's the Golden Gate if they've never been here the first time until you see the real Golden Gate, but that's the, the Bay Bridge that connects San Francisco on the right side to the left as we move to Oakland. About 50 degrees, light wind. Let's get back to the star of the show, the Apex Voyager. And we should be able to see that pilot boat directly behind her pretty soon. You can see you have a, a buoy. I'll try to get it right in the center of the screen right there. There's a buoy that's right there, a marker. And they do have dedicated shipping lanes that 
comes out of the Pacific Ocean going in to the San Francisco Bay. But it's going to be interesting to see that pilot boat. They did a transfer here about uh, 45 minutes ago, so it'll be interesting to see that pilot boat uh, trailing behind. Pilot boat is now at 7.3 knots. Apex Voyager. Get an update on what she's doing. 8.9 knots. So we're going to get a better look at her as she gets closer, but this is a little bit of an extended version. I mean, we can hang in here together for uh, 15 minutes or so. It's not every day I get to show you a large cargo ship that comes off the Pacific Ocean that goes under the Golden Gate. Even though you know I love that Duluth aerial lift bridge, Golden Gate is right there as well as far as favorites. I think the Golden Gate is a favorite for a lot of people. Look at this beautiful scenery, though, when you're standing up here on this, this mountain. You can see there's a road that leads all the way up here. A lot of people take pictures. There's a, a, there's a tunnel that you have to take that's a single, single lane tunnel that uh, you have to wait five minutes for one side to get done driving. And then, uh, then the other side can go through as well. So only one direction each time. Let's take a look at the apex now. Coming into better view as she gets closer. Can make out. Uh, looks like we have a pretty, a pretty legitimate superstructure. There's a, a blue and a red with white color scheme. Really good looking vessel. See a couple other vessels that are down there in the water. Let's try to make those out. Looks like some personal vessels that are out there. See a couple sailboats. You always have a little bit of wind here in the San Francisco area, especially in the bay. And I've talked about the current. I think this is a very good observation spot for us to really take a look at the current that goes into the San Francisco Bay. Coming in from the Pacific Ocean, I mean, it creates a plenty of volatility, but the current is has been well documented. It has to be pretty difficult for some captains for the first time navigating and as you look you can see some of the wind that is pushing off the water but that also gives you the ability to see some of that current actually moving below the bridge again golden gate bridge 1.7 miles in length if you've never walked across it it's a it's a really good walk and it's a lot larger than you would think if you've never seen it before All right, give you an update. Let's take a look at uh, Apex Voyager still moving at 8.9 knots, 6.6 .6 knots for the PV San Francisco. That's the pilot ship that should be right behind. Yeah, this weather, the weather here today, beautiful in the 50s. Looking forward to the melting that's going to occur in Duluth and the Minnesota area very soon. But being able to see one of these large cargo ships, very fun, very different. It's kind of its own different flavor than what we look at with the Lakers and uh, everything else in the, the Duluth area. Excited to be able to see that pilot boat that we can see together. So that should become visible here. We're going to be looking in the same direction that we saw the Apex Voyager come from. Again, from Panama, Apex Voyager. You have to do a little bit of research. I really wanted to be able to determine 
what the the cargo was. But uh, she is on her way to the port of Oakland, coming from San Francisco or uh, from Sacramento. Yeah, it says West Sacramento, heading to Oakland. Call sign 3FSH7. Gross tonnage says per AIS 23,232. 8.8 .8 knots. Getting closer to that Golden Gate Bridge. Still looking for the, the pilot boat. It'll be coming there from the right. That's yeah, a good looking ship here. Get a better zoom in and look at that beautiful color scheme, that blue, white, and red. I pulled up on Google Images some pictures of the, the ship that we can look at real quick as we wait for her to get directly under the Golden Gate. Bear with me, the gimbal's a little slow. But here's some better pictures of the Apex Voyager. So this is the moment that we've been waiting for. The apex going under the Golden Gate Bridge. Give you an update here on the speed of this vessel. 9.8 knots, so just under 10. Moving along pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's a long trip. I mean, Sacramento to San Francisco, not too bad, but being in China, and I'm assuming other locations too, I mean, that's a, that's a long trip for a, a crew, the captain. It's a, it's a lot going on. Get this beautiful look. Here with the city in the background and the Apex Voyager going under the famous Golden Gate Bridge. 50 degree day, a little bit overcast, light wind, nothing too bad. I'm going to try to get an update here on where that pilot boat is. It'd be really fun to, to check that out. Six point nine knots, the PV San Francisco. That's what we are waiting for. She's still looks to be coming our way, so we might get a glimpse of that vessel as the Apex Voyager goes under the Golden Gate Bridge. Maybe a little more of a panoramic shot of that good looking ship. Love that red, white, and blue color scheme. That beautiful city of San Francisco. Maybe get a little bit of Alcatraz there as well. Yeah, you know, every place that you go, all these different ports, there is just unique aspects of the city, the ambiance, just everything that goes along with it. Duluth, it, it carries a, a whole different feel to me when I'm down there by the North and the South Pier. You're very close in proximity to those ships that come through. You can get pretty close here in San Francisco as well. There's a park that is down in that, in that direction over there that you're able to get pretty close to these vessels. But I love being able to have a, a view like this where I can see everything going on. I can make out ships in the, the harbor. I can look out onto the Pacific Ocean right here. And it just gives you almost like an eagle's eye 
type of view of what's going on. And there's many other ships. You know, I'm glad that I got this one at least for you. But you also do have oil tankers and uh, just every type of cargo ship you could imagine that would come into the port here. Now, again, some of these large ships, they, they also create a pretty significant wake. So when you see these sailboats and other vessels in the, the distance, I mean, they got to be able to navigate that as well. And just uh, to be ready, if you're a good captain, I'm sure that you're prepared for that. Yeah, I'm still checking over here to the right. I really wanted to see that pilot boat and, and show it to you. Maybe we'll get one last glimpse of that pilot boat here in a moment. Let's see if we can look out and see any anything going on. That's the direction where it should be coming from. There you got you got the Oakland uh, Bay Bridge there in the, the distance. And so what's going to happen is the Apex Voyager is going to make her way. She is going to go all the way around to that other bridge there. And on the other side of the bridge is the Port of Oakland. And so that's where she's either going to unload or offload the cargo. Looks like we have another ship or a vessel that's really making some speed. You can tell by that wake, trying to determine what that is. Sometimes you have these Coast Guard vessels that will come in and check some of these ships out as they come into the, the harbor. But it's a beautiful day, San Francisco, California. Let's see if I can zoom in on the, the port of Oakland. We might be able to see it. It'd be, it'd be in that direction right over there. Well, there you go, Apex Voyager. Another ship that we got to watch together on a beautiful day in a beautiful location. And uh, the captain and the crew, they made it safe to another destination and we wish them the best in the future. Another vessel to learn about. And uh, if you pull up AIS, you know, it's just, it's absolutely remarkable to take a look at the worldwide view on that and just see how many vessels are navigating all around the world. I mean, it's an infinite number of ships and boats and tugs and everything that you could think of to keep track of. So, you know, if there's people that are boat junkies, ship junkies that just love looking at ships moving along, can you imagine living in San Francisco? I mean, you could sit up here every single day, see new ships and, uh, you know, it probably wouldn't get old. When uh, we look at the ships on the Great Lakes, especially Duluth Superior, you know, we get we get used to the same ships coming in. American Spirit, the Tagurtha, the Anderson, and just uh, all of the other familiar names that uh, we check out. We kind of get used to their routine, you know, how often they'll be back, where they're going, and uh, how many days it'll be until they get back. When you take a look at some of these ocean going ships, I mean, you might not see them for months uh, until they come back and they might not even come back at all. So just trying to make out what this ship is right here, this boat coming up, it kind of gives me the, the feeling that this could be a, a Coast Guard vessel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check AIS. Well, guess what? We got that PV San Francisco, the pilot boat that we looked at at the very start of this video. We saw some pictures of that pilot boat and sure enough there she comes and uh, she should be making her way by us here in a few minutes see if we stick with it i'm going to pull up ais and determine is this a coast guard uh, vessel that is there kind of has a, a look of that just from from this distance i can't tell too well so let's see what we got going on here i'll tell you what it is So this is 
you know, I'm going to show this, show this to you. I'm going to put the, put my phone down and we can look at it together and, and figure out what we're looking at together. So this is the vessel that is, that is out there right now. Show you the position. This is that uh, vessel that is right next to the Apex Voyager. So this looks like some type of a, a survey vessel from, from what it looks like here. Seven meters in length. Marina Plaza Harbor, unknown destination. Some type of survey vessel. So it'll give us a better idea of what we're looking at. Might be a some type of U.S. government vessel. She goes by us. We'll have a better look at her. So we're 20 minutes into this video. You know, it's I'm not in no big hurry. You can always fast forward or come back to it later. But I'm having a fun time from this wonderful location. There's a PFE San Francisco that's that pilot vessel. show you down take a look at the the rocks and you know these are some steep cliffs as as you look around I mean I do see there's plenty of barriers for uh, when you're driving but boy I'll tell you I don't know if you want to really be up here driving around at night if if you really are unfamiliar where you are at there's that survey vessel that we just checked out another another type of uh boat it looks like it's smaller watercraft but not too sure what that is <coughs> excuse me let me see if i can figure out what the what that is on ais nope not seeing any type of beacon for this this the smaller vessel below well, you know, it's uh, about 22 minutes in. I think uh, we had a fun time together checking things out. Again, San Francisco, California. Apex Voyager from Panama. We got to see. Got birds flying around here. Well, if you're in San Francisco, come and check this spot out. Take a look at a map. Um, Make your way up to this overlook. Absolutely stunning views. If you want a great picture with you or the family or whoever it might be, this is the spot to go. You get to see everything. So basically every single landmark in San Francisco in one swing. So boat friends, thank you. Had a fun time. I wanted to do this in high quality so we can get a better look at really what's going on here in San Francisco. So I hope you're enjoying your day. And uh, I will see you soon in the Twin Ports. And we'll be checking out some of these uh, awesome Great Lakes vessels that uh, are going to be making their way in and out of the, the Twin Ports. So, boat friends, I will see you soon. And um, you have a good one.